Hi, I'm Nicole. We've come to show you what we have for you on business. The second Niger Bridge is a Nigerian federal government project that is 1.6 kilometers, 0.99 miles long and furnished with other ancillary infrastructure, including a 10.3 kilometers, 6.4 miles highway inaugurated in March 2022. It opened for local traffic on December 15, 2022. The second Niger Bridge crosses the Niger between the cities of Asaba, the capital of Delta State, which is rich in oil in the west and Anicha in the east. When completed, it will be the last bridge over the Niger River before it branches into its delta arms. The Niger is the third longest river in Africa, after the Nile and the Congo. It moves 7,000 cubic meters per second water at Anicha, which is more than a hundred times as much as the Thames in London, 65 cubic meters per second. The Niger also separates Nigeria's populous southwest from the oil-rich southeast. The currently only bridge at Anicha, a 1960s steel truss structure with two lanes, is hopelessly overloaded, due in no small part to the fact that it must accommodate flying traders. The project is being funded through the Presidential Infrastructure Development Fund PIDF, created by President Muhammadu Buhari and managed by the NSIA. PIDF is also used to fund the construction of Lagos Abdin Expressway and the Abuja Kaduna Kano Road. The structure, 1,590 m long in total, consists of two parallel pre-stressed concrete box girder bridges, each 14.5 m wide. The current bridges will have a length of 630 m, with five spans, with span widths of 150 m maximum. The western ramp bridge will be 755 m long, and the eastern ramp bridge will be 205 m long. The bridge has been constructed using the cantilever method, while the ramp bridges will be constructed using the incremental launching method. The second Niger Bridge was first proposed during the 1958-69 political campaign by then NPN. In 1987, after warning about the state of the existing River Niger Bridge by the then Minister for Works and Housing Abubakar Umar, General Ibrahim Babanjada challenged the local engineers to design the second Niger Bridge. Rising to the challenge, the Nigerian Society of Engineers called an SE Prems Limited which subsequently delivered a master plan. The addition of East-West Railway Line to the project, unfortunately the turmoil that precipitated the end of Babangida's administration stalled the plan. Under the subsequent military governments, the projects received little attention. Upon the return to civilian rule, President Olusegun Obasanjo promised to deliver a second Niger River Bridge. However his administration did not carry out any major activity on the project until five days before he handed over to the then incoming administration of Umaru Musayajua, when Obasanjo flagged off the project in Asaba. The incoming administration effectively inherited a 58.6 Nigerian Naira's billion 9 proposed cost for a six-lane, 1.8 kilometers tolled bridge, which was to be completed in three and a half years. The bridge was to be financed under a public-private partnership PPP, with 60% of the funding coming from the contractor GITO Group, 20% from the Federal Government of Nigeria, and 10% from the Anambra and Delta State Governments. Unfortunately, the subsequent death of President Yaajua marred the progress of the project. However, in August 2012, the Federal Executive Council, under Jonathan's administration, approved a contract worth 325 million Nigerian Nairas for the final planning and design of the bridge. During the 2011 Nigerian general election campaign period, Jonathan has promised that if elected, he would deliver the project before the end of his term in 2015. At an Anicha town hall meeting on August 30, 2012, he promised to go into exile if he did not deliver on the project by 2015. On December 15, 2022, at 9.50 local time, the bridge was open to local traffic. Since not all connecting roads have been completed yet, makeshift roads have been created to allow the bridge to be used during the Christmas holidays. 
Crossing the bridge is free of charge for the time being. The Federal Executive Council FEC, has approved N15 billion for the construction of an access road linking the Benin Saba Expressway to the second Niger Bridge. Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohamed, disclosed this when he briefed State House correspondents on the outcome of the Council's meeting presided over by President Muhammadu Buhari, on Wednesday, in Abuja. He expressed the hope that the completion of the road would help achieve the dream of inaugurating the bridge before the 29th of May. The Minister of Works presented a memo seeking approval for the award of contract for the construction of an access road from the existing Benin Saba Expressway to approach the link road to Second Niger Bridge in Delta. As you are aware, the government is determined to inaugurate the Second Niger Bridge before the expiration of this administration. We can tell you that the bridge itself is substantially concluded, but the contract that was awarded today, although the work has started before now, is actually to connect the Asaba Benin end to the new bridge. The contract was awarded at a sum of N15 billion. They have started the work, but they said it is only proper that they have a contract. We can assure you that the road will be finished in good time for us to inaugurate the second Niger Bridge, he said. The Minister of Power, Abubakar Aliyu, who also addressed the correspondence revealed that the Council approved 3.7 million euros as contract variation for the Transmission Company of Nigeria. He said the amount was meant for the procurement of some equipment and to complete the construction of two substations that would help boost electricity supply in the country Mr Aliyu said, Today, I presented a memo on behalf of the Transmission Company of Nigeria to the Council and it approved the variation. This was due to the escalation of prices for the supply of equipment and the construction of 132-33 kV substations at Nui and 132 kV Line Bay Extension at Anicha, both in Anambra. Second Niger Bridge, Julius Berger tests streetlights. Julius Berger Nigeria PLC, the construction firm handling the Second Niger Bridge, has carried out a test run of the illumination on the bridge, following the switching on of the streetlights. According to the former Governor of Lagos State and Minister of Works and Housing, Fashola, the bridge, which is in its final stage of construction, will soon be commissioned and open to vehicular movement. The second Niger Bridge, a federal government project, is being managed by the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing in collaboration with the Nigeria Sovereign Investment Authority, NSIA. Construction on the bridge began in September 2018. The bridge spans from Asaba in Delta State to Ozubulu in Anambra State. This is the end of our program today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Interflog. Thank you.